Why are your socks black? Mine? Why, yeah. That's a weird question. Uh, they're, it's like they're a, gray. It's like yeah, a, like why? It's a dominant color for socks. He, but it, they're it, Spider-Man. They're Spider-Man. Why are they gray? Uh, but I don't know. I got a bunch of different Spider-Man noir. I don't know. I don't but that's know. not Spider-Man noir. That's not what he looks like. So I have Gwen Stacy socks. I have normal Spider-Man socks. Are they Spider-Gwen socks? Or are they straight up like just Spider-Man. blonde? Okay. <laughs> just Emma Stone I, on I it. I literally <laughs> thought they were just going to be like a blonde girl on a yeah, trench they're blonde, jacket. They're blonde girl on a, on a <laughs> sock. It's her face is terribly stretched across my shin. You never know. Yeah, yeah I guess you don't. <laughs> um, I've been collecting Spider Amazing Spider-Man t-shirts. Why? Uh, because... Um, my all my old shirts way too big now, so I need nice. I need shirts and I they're cheap and they're cool. I've been collecting hoes. <laughs> I, I haven't I haven't been collecting hoes. I'm sorry I lied to you. That's why I shot you with a gun. You've been collecting ho ho hoes. It's Christmas still. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It's it's that time of year where December. <laughs> I had this debate with someone earlier in the day, um, because they say that all the Christmas movies, like they can't, like they've. So, wait, that was a our part of her. What are you? What, what did you just say, David? You couldn't ignore that for a second. Keep your thought. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need Dude, to. I'm still pretty sleepy. <laughs> I want to. That pillow is looking pretty nice. I know, right? This is the slumber party edition yeah. of the plot line. It's going to be every edition that we do. Um, that's, the, that's what this era is. This is the slumber party but, era. But what I was saying is um, I was talking to one of my friends, and uh, she was talking about, like, how hey, can you stop wiggling your feet? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they're just, they're, my tootsies are just out here, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Both, both of my peripherals, you're wiggling your feet, and he's Brent's mesmerized. <laughs> I'm just like vibing. I'm hanging out. Yeah, I was vibing too, man. Ah, bless it. <laughs> see, in our last night, we were much more closer together. I could never see Kevin's feet before. Yeah, that's true. There, there was a big, big ottoman blocking. That's, really, that's really the biggest change that's happened is we can see Kevin's feet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's the that's the that's the difference maker. Yeah, that that's season two. What it's all about is seeing my feet. Yeah, that from was like across the that, room. Was, that was the goal, and we made it. I, I can see it. your guys' feet too now. It's not a one foot town over here. I have two feet. Season three, nipples out. You're almost <laughs> there. You're halfway there. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I don't know if I'm comfortable with that right this minute. We'll that's see. What has season three? We'll see what season, season three has in store. Nipples out. What does that leave season four? <laughs> oh god, the look he just gave me. You guys, you listeners, you know what season four has in store. <laughs> so your friend the Christmas story you oh, I, was, I was fully prepared just to give up on that one. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, I mean, you derailed it by looking at my tootsies. You don't, did. don't blame that on me. You did. You completely, you, you were in the middle of saying freaking, something. You were wagging him around like you just got told the best news ever. You were so giddy. He still did. Like, they're doing <laughs> like a wing go up, a wing go up. <laughs> It's like you're sitting on a wall, waving your legs around, buddy. I am sitting against a wall, la- waving my legs around. Yeah, that's why I said it. <laughs> Freaking pretty observant, idiot. Yeah. What? I'm so sleepy. Dude, you said it was his... Me too. <laughs> Wake the fuck up, sheeple. No. Alright. Why? <laughs> Why do I have to Why wake, wake up? up just to go to bed again? Yeah, I'm going to sleep soon. <laughs> you just want to die sometimes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, it's a big nap. But I ha- I was talking to a friend today, and um, I don't you. <laughs> Bro, you stop. don't do it until I start talking about it. I just stop thinking. <laughs> I'm listening. When I'm you're listening. on autopilot, do your feet just. You have restless legs and I have ADHD. I fidget. I'm fucking. My brain's broken. I'll give you a Rubik's Cube to solve during these. I, I, I have gonna, a fidget cube in the other room. And I don't just know go grab help. it. Were you a fidget spinner kid? <laughs> no, I was a fidget spinner kid. So. <laughs> How did I never catch that? I've known you for so long. I never saw you with a fucking 
But I had never a spinner saw you had a collection. In a collection? So I never bought a fidget spinner. <laughs> okay, I maybe bought a couple. Why is that we're, so funny to you? We're never gonna get to hear David's story about his friend. <laughs> it's such a, it's gonna be such he a... looks at my feet and he starts going, <laughs> <laughs> That's why he wants me to stop. It's such it's gonna be such a letdown story, the fact that we've had this much build up. But um uh no, I I bought like a couple fidget spinners, but when I worked at the theater, when fidget spinners were big, kids would bring them in and it would fall in between the seats. So when we cleaned them, I just took them. So I had like 50 fidget spinners just from the theater. 100% your closeted, dude. Because you never... I think I threw never, them out. I think I recovered. N- still, you never... Like, I never saw you walking around just flicking a fidget <laughs> spinner. You kept that, like, lock and key. <laughs> I only did it at my house. <laughs> I'd get home from school. I'd get home from, like, college and stuff and be like, where is it? Um, No, in high school, I used to doodle instead of that. I just would doodle on my margins. I don't think I did anything in high school to pass time. I think I just slept it wasn't a pastime it was to give me something to do because oh, I, I, I have a hard i have a hard time just sitting there uh, yeah so, sure, what's um, his favorite christmas special like like from like a cartoon or a show you used to watch as a kid i think my no. spongebob a year without santa it's the claymation with heat miser and okay oh, yeah that's fun. okay yeah I, I wouldn't consider that like a I didn't know where we were going, but um, but I I would I would agree that was really really good. Um, oh, favorite, <laughs> favorite Christmas special, or like my, like I said, SpongeBob's my favorite, like the the classic OG SpongeBob Christmas episode. Kids Next Door has a slept on Christmas special. I was thinking the same thing, I because I'm having a hard time thinking of um, one, but I always remember the Wolverine. Wolver- yeah. yeah. Um, I oh. just remember the end of the SpongeBob. Chowder and has a good and one. Santa Claus, where he's like, oh, 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 he's doing the finger guns. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, shit, going to fucking head. And it just gets me Chowder every fucking time I see it. It's a great Christmas special. I just love I Chowder. I just loved Christmas specials. I, I quote the Chowder kid. one a lot. Fairly Odd Parents has a good one too, where he wishes every day was Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I think cartoons always had banger yeah. Christmas specials. Yeah. My favorite, I like holiday oh, themed things. Me too. I, I have my favorite. I don't know why. Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, where they go to yeah. the North Pole, where Santa's a vampire. Yeah, that's a really good one too. That yeah. is the best one. <sighs> like that's a. Whole, it was like a mini movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, like it literally starts off of Billy burning a mole to the ground. Like it, it's just it's con- it's continuously funny. Man, what happened to cartoons? Um. Uh, they all went digital. Is that what it is? Yeah. When, it? Whenever the animation became digital. But like Phineas and Ferb, I think, was still a banger. I think that was digital. like one of the last of the good era for that's us. What, that's what I th- always think, too. It's like the fall of cartoons in my mind is mm-hmm. Phineas and Ferb is like the last one. There's, yeah, like Adventure Time and Regular Show and Phineas and Ferb in that time frame was like the last, like. I think Gumball's think... really good, but it's like different the way it's animated. It's it was the first differently people. animated one that I think I enjoyed, but. You ever sit down and watch Gumball? It's really funny. I've watched really a good. couple episodes. I just never really got into it. It's got some just fever dream moments. Yeah, it's really I, funny. I think that's when it's like it's funniest. Yeah, but whenever it's like completely off the wall, there's a lot of like stuff that like I didn't understand as a kid. That no. like it's for like aimed for adults to be able to sit and watch it and like and not feel like you're like because sometimes you can watch a kids show and it's just like this fucking shit is made for a poo poo yeah. brain fucking four year old and I can't watch this but I like a good like I like a good show that like me, me and like my nephew can sit down and watch and he's eight and he can enjoy it and I can also watch it and not feel like I'm losing like brain cells yeah it's always great like going back and watching like kids shows and like movies and stuff you watch as a kid and then like oh wow they had a lot for the adults and yeah that um like the movie we're reviewing today We'll get into it later if we want, but like I notice so much like different stuff every time I watch the like Grinch and stuff. Where I'm like, oh. there's like so many new like <laughs> jokes I've noticed now as I get older. Oh yeah, the Grinch. Yeah, yeah. There's so many adult jokes in that. Oh, also real quick. Uh, I'm Kevin. Oh, I'm David. I'm Brent. And this is a Grinch episode of the plot line. The Grinch. And uh, real quick before we get into the Grinch, I got you guys something. Uh, what the fuck? Um, David, the reason I asked you if you could wear a small earlier 
is because eh, um, I got us all matching sweaters. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a surprise this is. But I'm wearing the pajamas you got me. They're, they're, this is also Grinch themed, like the pajamas. <laughs> We're grinched up. Merry We're Grinch putting them on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my headset off for a oh, second. Oh shit! We're about to, about to be okay. Oh, God, the I'll, uh, for the I'll keep talking so like it's not just totally radio silence of us like you know doing <laughs> stuff. Think this is really comfortable. But uh, yeah, Kevin's got his on. He's 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 getting it sorted out. Brent's finding the hole. <laughs> oh, you know he's stuck. I see his chin. Oh, he's crowning. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's he's fighting it. There we go. And now the arm, and we have hand. All right, I'm gonna headset off. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. This is just purely for me. So, um, I saw these sweaters, and I was like, "Oh, this is really funny." They all say "Merry Grinchmas." They're matching. They're identical, and it's got the classic cartoon Grinch on it. David David just crowned, and he's finding his arms. There's one. That this is a small. Yeah, this is a, a small men's small. Yeah, you should have told me it was like a sweater. Like sweaters will fit fine. Well, I didn't want to like, fucking tell you. You didn't want to give away the huge surprise. Are you not surprised? This is a good surprise. I like them. This is this is cute. <laughs> this is wild. This is fun. This Look is this. wild that we did this just for ourselves. There's there's no <laughs> there's nobody seeing there's, us. There's no payoff for no. for you, the listener. This is purely for me. <laughs> we should take like us a, a picture after this and like have it. <laughs> um, we just really derailed it. We just, okay. So we, I'm sorry. We did. We did. Can't the intro. You just pulled out your own little grunge sack and we're like, here yeah, you go. This is the, that's the grunge sack. Oh, uh, dude. Um, but yeah, we're reviewing the Grinch. Yeah. Um, Jim Carrey's version, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Uh, there's a lot to talk about with this movie. Um. Oh my God, I have. I took notes. I didn't because I, uh, I, I think my noggin's pretty good at retaining. I played Call of Duty the entire time. Most I had. We're gonna have three very different. <laughs> I have a I've bulleted seen note. The Grinch a billion yeah. times. I love the Grinch. I have my my notes separated by category. Um, there some parts are bulleted. I'm very prepared for this. I really enjoyed this a lot. I had a lot of thoughts about it. Perfect. Where was this on? <laughs> <laughs> on the last one. Yeah. Where, yeah, where was this enthusiasm? Um, I didn't on... enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched this movie with you before. Um, yeah, I love this movie. It's like one of my favorite movies. Yeah, so maybe. I... It's just so ridiculous. I'm I'm so excited. I love this movie. Um, It stars Jim Carrey. Was that in your notes? No, no, actually, I completely avoided that. Oh, wow, well, then I don't think your notes are good, then. So, um, uh, one of my first notes is that Jim Carrey deserves a medal for putting on that costume. He hated it. Every yeah. single day for probably like a year. Yeah, I like saw something where like they use like eight thousand pounds of like prosthetics and makeup. I feel like movie. it was like nine hours of prosthetics or something yeah, stupid. I could have just insane. made that up, but that sounds correct. So I'm gonna I'm gonna trust you. Yeah, yeah, I'll believe you on that. I didn't. I don't. You know what? <laughs> Sorry, I just realized something. The last episode we recorded, Brent Brent got trivia out for. <laughs> for <laughs> there wasn't anything interesting. I do know that this one does have a lot of stuff because. <laughs> The the Grinch is like a marvel in physical set. Oh my god. It is. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's that was like one of my one of my th- And notes. just like practical effects in general. That's like just really good. It was made in two thousand. Yeah. Th- this was made before nine eleven. <laughs> Wait, this was made before nine eleven? Yes. yes. It's wild. Do you guys ever think about how nine one one and nine eleven have nothing when, to do with when one I was another? a kid? I thought that's why it was nine one one. Yeah, I think my mom one time told me that that's why they did it. And I was like, oh, was like but then, I, then like I think my dad said one time that he called nine one one as a kid, and I'm like, that math's not mathing. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think Brent's mom was implying that they chose that date because of the police. Can you imagine? <laughs> Freaking, freaking. What date would you choose? No, I'm just kidding. Freaking <laughs> Bin Laden, just like I pick my birthday, <laughs> April Fool. <laughs> oh man, 
Sorry, David. I would do December 2nd. I remember Uh-oh. this is <laughs> I remember being in the theater and my mom took me to some spooky movie and I don't remember what it was. But I remember I was really really young and it was a trailer for the remake of The Omen and it came out on June 6, 2006 and I remember oh, yeah. when the date 666 came out my mom went <gasps> <laughs> she like gasped. Like, that's all. That's all she needed. That's the only. <laughs> She's like, "Oh my god! How could a horror movie about the devil do such a thing?" Like, I, I think she hadn't <laughs> up until that point thought about the date being six six six. Which, which like, what's she gonna do on June twenty six? Or sorry, sorry, June six twenty twenty six. She'll be and twenty twenty six. Well, there's a two there. There's a 2000 on 2006. Yeah, but you, it, six, it was literally 6606. Six, six. Oh, I guess that's fair. Yeah, it's a lot better. All right. I, all right. Um, all right. But no, it was it was impressive. Like, the set designs and stuff. Oh, it's absolutely insane. Um, Vern Troyer was in it. Was he the little... The band leg- guy. He was in the band. <laughs> oh. And I'm not, I, I looked it up because I wondered if Warwick Davis was in it. Oh, my God. They had like they had little guys, but Vern Troyer also counts. So they had him. The Grinch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brent's looking away from the mic again. <laughs> <laughs> My guy's allergic to speaking into the mic. <laughs> um, I need a cone. You really? <laughs> <laughs> we, we will make that so, happen. So you can't lick your genitals. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking fiend. <laughs> I wish I could. Could you imagine? I'd never come out of the house. So the Grinch was a lot funnier than I remembered. I always forget how mm-hmm. absolutely hilarious it is. They, yeah, I, I don't think they gave Jim Carrey a script. The more I watched it, the more I'm like, I don't think they told him anything. Yeah, they just loosely gave him like yeah. direction. I'd imagine. I'm like, he. There's no way that like someone wrote that. No, there's no way. <laughs> no, a lot of his lines were uh, improvised. I wish I could have heard that. <laughs> A lot of his lines were improvised. Wow, that's incredible. Whoa, Brent, when did you get here? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, Kevin, just go through your notes, my guy. Let's just get you out okay. of the way. <laughs> All right, so um, for one, I think that this movie is an incredible adaptation of the classic, the 30-minute long one. Given that they stretched it to the length of a feature-length film, I think it's absolutely bonkers that they kept the entire plot of the original and then also fleshed that out in a way that wasn't like like stupid or nonsensical to watch like everybody we've all seen an adaptation of of some other media where they've tried to make a feature length thing out of it and it just was bad for whatever reason like um like the killing joke animated friend mm-hmm. and I watched that together it was and bad it was bad because they added that whole sequence where Batman fucks Barbara Gordon. Didn't need it. Didn't need it. Yeah, why did they do that? In this movie, they added a whole sequence where the mayor's girlfriend really wants to fuck the Grinch, and it was gold. Why, why, like, how how did they pull it off? It was incredible tension. (laughs) Yeah. Um, so, so, to make a movie that's just like a full-on early 2000s bonkers Jim Carrey comedy movie and still have like the heart and soul of the original classic film in it and it still be like that same classic story mm-hmm. and stick the landing is incredible to me. Yeah. Uh, the the practical sets like you said were incredible. The set design was incredible. Like all the like the the set decorators and prop makers also deserve a medal like Jim Carrey does for all the work that they put into it. Um the costume design was insane. How they had to have prosthetics for like all the adults. Mm-hmm. Um, something weird that I noticed is that the kids don't have the fucked up noses that the well, adults do, and they comment on yes. it in the movie that they grow into their nose. That's so strange to me. That they grow into their nose. That it becomes like this this formed like snout over time. But the children have big fucked up teeth. What's that about? 
Yeah, but and yeah, and then their teeth get smaller. But their nose gets huger. And like, like your their nose. <laughs> are you trying to? What are you doing? <laughs> like their nose, like sucks the like, girth from their teeth. I was it. thinking that they lose their teeth, and two teeth take the place of the one big one. I mean, that's Brent. Wake up. I'm just, I'm just taking it all in. You're just taking it what all in the fucking nap? <laughs> <laughs> You're all thinking in my mind. What were you thinking? Is this the same who, Whoville that Horton hears a who in? So that was another, that's another interesting thing about these movies is that there's all, like an entire fucking world on a snowflake in this one. That's how it was in the OG. I know. I know, no, no. I, I, okay. And Horton hears a who, it's a. Like a flake of pollen yeah. that, the, that the whole world's on. Dr. Seuss loved his microscopic world. It's very interesting that, like, they have, like, generations upon generations. Like, everything must be going on so fast there. It's very, it's like a, like a, no, like a little side blink and you miss it kind mm-hmm. of thing where it's like there's this tiny little, like, they're like germs. Yeah. They're like germs they're like on a little snowflake. Amoeba people. Yeah. And they still have Santa oh. Claus. That's crazy. crazy. Does that yeah. mean they have God? Maybe. <laughs> they might have God. You think the Who's are like, put the Christ back in Christmas? A couple of them definitely give that vibe. What the fuck do you think they do for the rest of their year? I think it's just Christmas. All the time. Is the Grinch's mom's lesbian? I think they... I think they, that implied? They didn't, they, that's the, implied. The, the Grinch's moms, her roommates, they're, they're just a couple of old friends that okay, live well, together what forever. They call, that's, what, that's what every couple was called back then, were roommates. I, I, I know. <laughs> oh, they were just roommates. Nah, they... They're very close friends. They, uh, they're freaking... <laughs> they're freaking... Yeah, this they movie's were got flannels. something for everybody. <laughs> um... <laughs> It's crazy that the Grinch is a horrifying monster, man. I don't. And what's crazy about that? It's just like they, the 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 costume design is just terrifying. Yeah. Even whenever he's a kid, he looks Half disgusting. Of it's Jim Carrey's face, though. It is like like I mean, a good a good seventy five percent is that weird face he's doing. Yeah, but then like the other, no, I wouldn't even say seventy five percent. I'd say twenty five percent of it's that, and the other seventy five percent is the fucking uh, a mix between the. Oh, Haunting yellow eyes, and then the fucking yeah, the double yellow eyes are teeth. gross. He, he, I don't. You weren't looking. You weren't watching, so you probably don't remember. But his teeth are like flared in two rows per like top and bottom. So there's four sets of teeth in his mouth. I hate that. It's fucking nightmarish, and that's how he can eat porcelain and it be fine. Um. Huh. So um, the Who's are all racist. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're terribly racist. Well, there's some... Only to the Grinch. He's the only one that's a different race than mm-hmm. them. There was a black who. Because so, I was looking okay. out, and in the end, there was, like, different so, nationality who's. I would say that, like, our our general conceptions of, like, race go out the window, and there's one single guy who's green and fuzzy. Like, okay, He's... Kevin. <laughs> If we're walking around the city as a human, okay, yeah, and we see a legitimately green, hairy abomination looking of a man, and he's naked, he's butt what, ass naked. What are we going to do? I'm not gonna fucking point my finger at him and laugh about his beard. Kevin, we're calling the cops. Well, I'm not or, calling the or cops. animal control. I'm not. If he's walking and talking, he's going to class with me. He he's been shown to have feelings. Yeah, like he's mumbling about like stopping Christmas from coming or something. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do that whenever he's a kid. He's just like trying to be a kid, and then the mayor, the fat little mayor, which is just like fucking, also, fucking Mitt Romney. It's a, <laughs> yeah, fucking Mitt, young Mitt Romney. It's a, um, it's a weird thing because they made fun of him for having a beard. Like, I'm sorry, if I was a fifth grader and had a beard, I'd co- I was the coolest kid in campus. Yeah, like, like if I was rocking a like. Long beard, well, and they give him that. And he, he tries to shave himself, and he and they give him the razor. And yeah, that's, they're so look mean. at that hat job. Yeah, I like, quote that all the time. I love that. One. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with those kids? What are the who's teaching their children? Like, who knows? All right, well, that was the plot line. And I'm burnt. I'm, I'm David, and I'm <laughs> proud. <laughs> um, so. 
yeah, it's just very interesting to me that the Who's who are all about like like Christmas cheer and whatnot. They mm-hmm. seem they seem like they'd be a very accepting crowd because it's just like well, I feel like boom by all they're dancing around a tree. You know, they don't have they never had Martin Luther King Jr. So, all right, and so this was the plot line. I feel like, I feel like the Who's are the victims <laughs> of from whom huh? the mayor. Okay, because I like the mayor bullied him and and. They probably don't know that part. All they know is little Grinchy boy snapped and threw a Christmas tree and like. Now, I would agree with you. Like right? I feel like the Who's just don't know the full story, so they just think the Grinch be crazy. So I would agree with you, but there is a scene where he looks at the Grinch. Brent, wake up! I'm the thing the, where the, he oh. looks at the Grinch and he's like, "Look at that hack job!" And everybody who are the adults now in the present. The- are laughing at him because the mayor said that. So, and an adult, the teacher, is also laughing there's at There's gotta be child. other grades. Also, this brings me to a point that I was thinking of. They're on a snowflake. Bring me to a point I'm thinking okay. of. All right, all right. They're on a snowflake. Okay, yeah. And they're like the only of their kind. Uh-huh. They're having kids. Eventually, hmm. you're gonna run out of different who's. So I feel like what do you mean by that? I just feel like eventually the Who's are going to be engaging in like incest. Ooh. So they actually very cleverly avoid that by having all the children delivered on storks. You're telling me the Who's don't fuck. Yeah, yeah. Pro- I don't think they so. Well, they to. actually also allude to the fact that the Who's do fuck because they have they have a they have a key party. They have a swinging party where they're so, all having like a like there's a literally like a, a part where they're they're all having like this party and they all throw their keys in a bowl yeah which is like a, a thing that people used to have in like the 70s key parties whoever so, you whoever's key you got so you went home with that tells me that the who's fuck but they don't procreate they do it for sport they do it for sport and that something else is generating who's and bringing them to who oh bit. it's like uh the codex from Man of Steel. Yeah, yeah, a... yeah, yeah. They have the codex, and they pull the genetic material mm. for every single who so from the, who, the codex. The who's yes. are infertile. Maybe that's wild. I can't wait for the first natural born son of Whoville to save the earth. <laughs> son of Whoville. That's the crazy shit I've ever heard. <laughs> that's wild. It's a wild statement. <laughs> The the Grinch could have been that son of Whoville. Who could, you, could you imagine? Could you imagine the timeline where? The Grinch is like the first natural born who in centuries. <laughs> imagine, imagine freaking, imagine freaking popping out that hairy little guy. <laughs> if if I were making the Grinch today, that'd be the that'd be the opening. <laughs> Just a grotesque birth scene. It, no, it'd be like the opening uh-huh. to the. I'm I'm making a reference to the Man of Steel, David. Uh. Brent understood what, what I was going for. What makes him green? Why do you think he's green? I don't know. Like, in the know. movie, they, they played as, like, a race thing, whatever, so, like, whatever he's born that way. Whatever they have is a sick fuck. Well, they said, he came, said they came from somewhere else, like, a stray wind blew him in, which makes me also wonder, are they, like, on the same snowflake, like, different races? I, th- I thought it was, I thought it was the stork brought him. I feel like the... I feel like he is right. I feel like there's, like, a There's a Dr. Seuss book in. where there's other colored Grinches that I remember. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. All right. Well, I'm gonna Google while talking into my mic real quick and see if that's a wow. Wow. There's a race that's of incredible. Grinches. I that's incredible. That means that there could be another like the, like that he flew in from a neighboring snowflake. His stork got confused. There's just like a whole snowflake full of those weird looking fuckers <laughs> in rainbow colors. <laughs> Doctor Seuss was on some crazy <laughs> shit. I, I think got, he I was notably on drugs. I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that, that guy was fucking on drugs. He cheated on his wife. David really is uh, fucking singling in on the cheating Dr. on his Seuss, wife. Like I, from everything I've read, was just not a good human being. He made one oh, fucking redfish bluefish. Nah, man, like freaking, he's a G. Just you know. I hope they adapt green eggs and ham to the live action space. I don't. That sounds a nightmare. Market for that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, man. 
You know, I was wondering why they never made any more Dr. Seuss books into feature length. Because he probably died. Films. No, it's definitely because this and The Cat in the Hat are the only two that make sense, Well, they sense, were so right? negatively received, but they've become cult classics. I think the Lorax in live action would be crazy. Oh, actually, never mind. I would love to see the Lorax in live action. I want Danny DeVito to play the Lorax. I think he didn't he not. I think voice he the was Lorax? the Lorax. Yeah, I so would the, love for him in, to play the Lorax. Mustache. He could be like on set, like uh, like Sean Gunn is for Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, who would no, win I in a fight? I don't want the. I don't. And if it's the Lorax with live action, I don't want him to be a CGA abomination. I want him to just. Slap some fur on Danny DeVito. There's no way that would look good. I want it to be like how they put Jim Carrey in crazy makeup. Can you say that into the mic, please? Oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. Who would win in a fight? <laughs> Mike Myers, Cat in the Hat, or Jim Carrey's The Grinch? Mike Myers, Jim Carrey's The, cat the, the Grinch. Hat. Ooh. The Cat in the Hat is like a fucking eldritch god. He can just <laughs> do whatever he wants. <laughs> He's not bound by the rules of this earth or any other. <laughs> he isn't. I kind of feel that way about the Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch is a fucking hobo who lives on a mountain. <laughs> and now he and now he cares too much. The cat in the hat fucking comes from another dimension and he fucking brings two kids with him one time and has to bring them back. The cat in the hat multiplies himself for just a bit. I will say that I, much like the cat I, in the hat, the Grinch does realize that he's not real. I know because he talks to the camera a lot and makes references mm -hmm. to reality, much like Deadpool Listen, does. Cat in the hat's going to win the fight because I know cat in the hat is burning in hell somewhere. <laughs> Mike Myers, cat in the hat is absolutely kicking it down there. And uh, like I said, the cat in the hat, he can like summon anything. He's like not bound by the laws of our, of our, earthly world but i think the grinch is like whenever his fucking ufo runs out of fuel like he's he's bound by our mm -hmm. laws but the cat in the hat just fucking he'd pull a new ufo out of his hat i don't know i think the grinch is just like i think the grinch has seen some shit he's been to some places i don't think the cat in the hat would i he'd start fighting dirty like i don't think the, the cat in the hat's gonna pull some grandiose the cat trick, the hat's right killed. and then the, and the fucking Grinch is just gonna pull a fucking shank out and stab him 26 times in the liver and fucking kill him. Yeah, and then the cat, in, you'd hear the cat in the hat laughing from behind the Grinch whenever the Grinch, like, looks up at the, the cat in the hat that he thinks is stabbing and space. It's just Thing 1 bleeding out. Yeah, just Thing, yeah, thing, thing 1 is standing on Thing 2's shoulder, and he's just, like, Do you bleeding my, out, dying. This is really random, but, uh... I learned a fun fact once that you know, like the original, like your like the like the Grinch song, like you're a mean one. Yeah, uh, that song is sung by the guy who voices Tony the Tiger. Oh, huh. my own personal head cannon. I guess that's why the song is great. So, it's really funny to close your eyes and imagine that the Grinch and Tony the Tiger were in a gay relationship, and it's like a breakup. <laughs> huh. Because if you close your eyes and listen to that song, it's Tony the Tiger talking about how much of a piece I, of shit the Grinch is. I hope you stretched before you made that jump. <laughs> no, I said it was my head cannon. I didn't say it was, it was the thing. This is a crazy head cannon. I like to, to have think of. Your head I just cannon. imagine it's Tony the Tiger. It's just really bitter. I will say He's for like one. He's like Taylor Swift. pretty gay. Your, your head cannon is unnecessarily gay, for one. <laughs> Let's just be clear. <laughs> but, I don't know if you know this about me. But, it, you know, I'm gay. No yeah, that's way. fine. I, and that's perfectly fine. We love and accept you just the way you are. But what the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. They're not even. The Grinch is on a snowflake. Yeah, but Tony the Tiger is on a frosted flake. He's singing a song no, about he's them. Yeah, he's he a is. fucking full tiger eating a bowl of frosted flakes. He's always on a soccer field, too. Oh, he's sporty. <laughs> the Grinch needs a sporty daddy. Yeah, you're right. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's why the more you think about it, it's really you know, funny. Another note that I have is that the Grinch does does enjoy dressing in drag. What? Um, there's a whole there's a scene where he's trying to find a suit to go to the Hoovalation mm. to be it's picked a kilt. As, I mean, he says it's a kilt, but if you look at it, if you look at it, yeah, it's you're, real white you're, lacy. You're problematic. Um, maybe so. That scene was hilarious where he like took the tablecloth and then had to go back and mess it up. Yeah. I don't know 
if I've made it up, but I feel like that was not planned. I think like he did it perfectly, so he went back and knocked it over. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not, but like I, I remember know. reading something about that. That if that's true, that's really hilarious. <laughs> And that's the kind of thing that you lose whenever you like make like an animated version. Yeah, I I think that the reason the animated version didn't do like the the modern animated version didn't I never do very saw well. it. Yeah, me either. Is because it it doesn't encapsulate like the the crazy energy of like what you're Jim Carrey is looking doing at. a lot of physical humor. Uh huh. He's doing and, a lot of the handiwork, and it's really hard to recreate something like that. The magic of that. With, like a guy animating it. Yeah. There's, it's like one thing watching a... Th- and I've never seen any sound of what happens, but like I can just imagine... You know the scene with the Jim Carrey, like he GTAs? The, the Grinch GTAs that little tiny baby car from those yeah. people? Yeah. That just wouldn't translate as no. funny in animation. No way. No how. It's just a really funny scene. It's just... There's just a lot of stuff like that. It's a bunch of physical humor that like... A very physical man, a very animate, like a very cartoonishly animated. He's already a very cartoonishly animated human. Yeah. So it just like goes very hand in hand. I don't know anybody else who could have like took on that role and have Nobody. physicality like him to like do it. I don't think there's a solo. Bill Skarsgård. Maybe, but he'd take it like a. I think it'd be more scary. I'd like to see him do it in an unscary way. I, I would. I I would. Be interested to watch it, but I don't know. Are if you he guys has trying to the... recast the Grinch? <laughs> yeah, yeah like Pete Davidson. Who, but what the what? fuck? I don't. I don't think Pete Davidson has the. I don't need everyone and their mother trying to fuck the Grinch or Bill Hader. Okay, Bill Hader could Bill be the Hader. Grinch. Bill Hader could be the Grinch. Those two. Are yeah. just Pete Davidson gives off Grinch energy, and I can't explain it further. But he doesn't have like the physical comedy vibe that Jim Carrey does, but Bill Hader does. Yeah, I, I think yeah. I could see Bill Hader as a Grinch. But they, they'll never let anybody don the, the cowl again. <laughs> They're trying to get him back to do a Grinch sequel. It was actually just in the news that his what? his his, rep, his reps said... Who, he Jim will, Carrey? Yeah. Yeah, his he's reps, done acting. His reps said he will not do a Grinch sequel. All he's sequel. doing is he Sonic. Just, yeah, what the fuck? He That's all he wants to do now. And they is... just dropped the, the first picture from uh, Sonic 3 he's of like, Shadow. And I mean, he's like... He's probably not going to be in it. In his 60s, my guy. Let him, like, chill. I would love for him to... He's, like, so to... ready to retire and... He doesn't even go out anymore. Like, just let him be. This movie was so good. I just want no. I get more. It. You There's know, just... I'm the I'm the problem with the world. I'm the I'm the reason capitalism exists. I want more. Yeah. But um, there's just like really good jokes in there. Like the for adults, like uh, where he takes off the kilt. He's like, it's not a skirt, it's a kilt. And he takes off. There's a freaking garter around his. Yeah, guy. I laughed really hard at that. That's really funny when he murders the yodeler. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I looked at Kevin. I was like, you just killed that guy. He yeah, did. did. Um, when he's in the mail room and he's skipping him jury duty, I laughed <laughs> so hard at that. Because I'm like, what a jerk. I hate yeah. this guy. Kid, a kid who doesn't understand no. jury duty, jury duty, jury duty. But like, as an <laughs> adult, Brent, Brent has got jury duty before, so yeah, he gets it, was, it. It was bad. I hated it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's other jokes all through it where I'm just like, gosh, that's 100% for an adult. Oh, yeah, like, there's a there's a time, there's a moment where he says, the powder's bitchin', which is really hilarious. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Where did I miss that? It's, um, it's whenever he's in the sleigh towards the end. Uh-huh. It was the, fu- it was just like a random off-the-cuff, like, blink-and-you-miss-it moment. He's, I think he's about to go down the hill with Max... Uh, to take the gifts back. And yeah. he just for, said something to, I think, Cindy Lou Who about the, he said, the powder's bitchin'. And I That's wrote it in hilarious. Quotes. And he says it like a snowboard bro, and it's like super funny. I remember, I know the scene, I just didn't hear what he said. Um, The Grinch Dom Toretto-ing the fucking mayor was hilarious. Where he fucking uses, instead of a bank vault, it's the mayor's bed. Yeah. <laughs> There's just... Him, I can't say enough good things about Jim Carrey. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, no, it's so sad that he doesn't want to make movies anymore, because he... He's made enough, dude. I know, I get it. But he just, there's like a... He just brings something else whenever he's doing yeah. doing movies. It's like, um, Brendan Fraser. People, like, there's something about the actors of the Jim Carrey-Brendan Fraser era mm-hmm. that's like... 
I just don't feel that, that we have anything Very like that anymore. interesting you said Brendan Fraser, because I was thinking Robin Williams. Yeah, Robin Williams, too. But he's dead, and we can't get anything else from him. Yeah. But Brendan Fraser is starting to make movies again. Thank God. Yeah. Very happy about that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, like, you just don't you don't get that anymore, I don't think. The movies have just become, like... Like, comedy movies, especially, have just become, like, how can we make money making, like, the most yeah. baseline hee-hee-ha-has we can? Yeah. Yeah, comedy movies now are not good. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, the last recent, like, like comedy movie that I've really enjoyed was uh, one that we talked about last year, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Mm-hmm. Which I wouldn't even classify as a whole comedy. No, it's definitely not. But it's, it's like a... It's like an action comedy drama. Because that's kind of like what Bullet Train is. It's an action comedy. Yeah. Bullet Train is good. Yeah. But it's not like a comedy like this no. style at all. I think we watched No Hard Feelings. It was really funny. No Hard Feelings was pretty good. But it's not like... It just... It's not the same. It's not the I same. I will tell you, I have not laughed as hard as seeing Jennifer Lawrence full bush forward, full titties out, like suplex a little fucking 13 year old girl on a beach was the funniest shit I've ever fucking seen in my entire life yeah like that that scene is funny but I think that even like like I would like to see her in more stuff comedically because I think Cause that, she was really good in yeah, that she, she was got su- really good comedic like yeah timing. she was really surprising in that but like I think overall though like the movie was just like a like a boring rom-com oh overall. wow I didn't think it was boring at all I mean like it's like good but like that was really interesting. Like, Am I the cynical one this this year? You are. What mm-hmm. happened? <laughs> Doesn't bode well for me next year. Oh no! What's happening to me? You guys are gonna hate cynical David. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I said, I enjoyed No Hard Feelings. I just think that it was just like it's not this style of comedy where it's just like stupid. They, usually, yeah, they, stupid comedy. They fit so many jokes in. And like a, and they're satisfying, and most of them land. And I, you're like a joke per second guy. You I'm, need I'm normally like... not. Like, like I hate the Big Bang Theory, and that's like the most jokes per second piece of media ever. It's just like it's like it depends on the on the who the joke teller. Mm-hmm. Where I land on that, I guess. So uh, Cindy Lou Who is kind of fucking stupid, but also what? damn. Kind of smart. Where are you? Why is she stupid? Because she's hunting down the fucking demon monster man up at the top of the she's, mountain. She sees the good in him. Yeah. She wants to change him. She, yeah, she wants to fucking. She she's can like, fix him. Yeah, she's like every girl in her 20s. I can fix him. I wish someone would fix me. You are the Grinch. <laughs> and you're the Grunch. <laughs> and you're the bitch. Maybe good so. Good one. Good one. Good comeback. Wow. Well, he. He got me. I don't know if I'll um, I'll recover. Yeah, I like that she is like, try, like trying to get the Grinch. I like that she just visits him. I, I so I think that initially she's like really dumb for wanting to track down this green monster she man. She broke in the into mouth. his place. Yeah, like he could have like shot her legally. Hundred percent. Um, you but have I, standard ground laws in Whoville. <laughs> I feel, they have guns in Whoville? I feel they like have if, police. I feel like if anyone's gonna stand their ground, it's the Grinch and freaking the mountain. He may not use a gun, it'll be like a like a fucking Contraption. I don't know, like a insert can. Dr. Seuss name thing here. <laughs> the Gliz Glazler. <laughs> Just shoots a ripe dildo at her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is it ripe? What does it even mean? What's a ripe about it? Yeah, what's it? a ripe dildo? What's Fresh, that mean? Freshly Ew. used. Oh, Yucky. Was, uh, for a second, I was thinking dildos grow on trees in Whoville. Probably. They probably do. <laughs> I feel like the Grinch, if he did use dildos, would use just a nasty one. <laughs> well, describe what you mean by nasty. I uh, already put it. What's the Grinch have? I feel like he has Chloe one cut. singular <laughs> exit hole. A He's got a grossy. He's like a, a puppet. It's a, it's a cloaca. It's a Ooh, universal it's hole. It's like the egg hole. A cloaca. It's like a universal. It, it's this uh, grossy. I feel you like it poop and pee out of the same <laughs> oh, hole. I feel like yucky. it like hooks into him. Ew. And it's got like feathers. It's like 
the dildo. Yeah. Okay. I feel like like it's not like silicone. It's like made of like organic materials. Do you and, think like, the Grinch fucks the dog? No. And I'm he not does. Gonna, he I'm not going to entertain that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> not Max. What the heck? Uh, so guys? under my notes for Max, I said Max is a perfect, really good boy, but it's really fucked up. With the scene where the Grinch makes the mayor fucking toss Max's salad. Dude, that... <laughs> <laughs> Max didn't like it, dude. He hated that. He which, sexually assaulted that Which dog. means that he's not used to it. So that means I, the Grinch does not... Okay. Hot that, dog. That, uh, hold on. That face doesn't imply not used to it. They it's did just the, that he doesn't like they, it. They did the cartoon boing, boing, boing eyes. I mean... <laughs> yeah, it's... he didn't like it. That doesn't I mean that he hasn't had it done before. to entertain that the Grinch <laughs> freaking gets jiggy with it with his dog. Okay, that's fair. But a notion I will also introduce is the Grinch is a Christmas furry. Excuse me? The Grinch is a Christmas festive furry. One more time, please. The Grinch is a festive furry. And what do you mean by that? He's furry. Okay. And I feel the furry community during Christmas would sexualize him. And I feel like he's the closest representation they have during the Christmas time. Not not like a big wolf with a Santa Claus hat? That's lazy. I mean, that's just the whole year. Like, I feel like... It's not the Santa Claus hat. I feel like the Grinch qualifies as a furry. I think that's pretty fucked up because that's just how he looks. You're you're no better than those fucking racist ass who's. I'm just gonna say I don't think any less of him. I'm just stating that I feel like he like. I just think I you think should drink in a different water fountain. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that's just how they think. Oh no, why are you typing? You're typing so furiously. What are you writing <laughs> in your notes? The time stamp so you can... <laughs> I can't see that fucking thing. I don't think there's a water fountain in Whoville. <laughs> what would the Reverend Martin Luther King thing for <laughs> you typed that to make sure it worked. Yeah. You idiot. I just, I wanted to make sure. Martin Luther King. Yeah. That's better than Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> I fucking I took your joke and I made it funny. <laughs> <laughs> you think the Whovilles have gone through like a civil rights movement? No, there's one fucking green guy. There's only <laughs> one green fucking guy. And they're fucking discriminated them so hard. He went I, up to the mountain. It was on site. They saw one person be slightly different. Like, mm. <laughs> they use Grinch as a slur. They straight up Use Grinch as a slur. Don't be Grinchy. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. The Who's racist. I just <laughs> I don't I don't think I don't think they're as bad as we're thinking. I I think that, I think they're pretty bad. I think they're bad, but like I don't think they're like they hit Jim Crow levels of racism against the Grinch. They didn't have time. He fucking fled fast enough that they didn't have time to yeah. enact the fucking second water fountain for Either him. Or they didn't do it. <laughs> he does kind of <laughs> come down jihad. Their uh, yeah, the, the, he, their entire he totally did like Christmas tree. Just, he explodes it. <laughs> he he terrorists. He drank <laughs> legitimate alcohol and freaking fire breath the tree. Okay, so here's the thing That's about a terrorist that. attack. Yeah, but it's like the same. Are you saying that it's wrong that the fucking the people of Iraq and Iran wanted the United States government out of their country? Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know that I said that at all. We were there to help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think the Grinch is hiding weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's what the that, fucking mayor was probably in the saying. Fucking that, mountain. How do you think that guy that got elected? Mountain. How the fuck do you think that guy got elected? That was his platform, and you know it. it he's uh, Mitt Romney. I also <laughs> like how we just spent time in the Grinch's house. <laughs> just yeah. chilling with the Grinch. Just chilling with the Grinch. With I, really, I, I really, really like that part when he's playing with the Echo, and he's yeah, thinks he's going to murder. You're an idiot. <laughs> 
There's that, just... that was the moment for me that I was like, oh my god, this movie's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> the the hubilation was that whole like sequence of him like getting all the pudding shoved in his face and oh like Oh my god. <laughs> and the one guy's like, this is not pudding. And he's like, what is it? <laughs> well, I, I like I like the progression because like when they're like, it's the first off so much food. Yeah. Like it's the fudge. And he was like, <laughs> Is that all you got? Just like eating as much fudge as he can. The conga line, I cackled. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to quit this conga line. Okay, we're in it. And just starts. It's, it was just an amazing sequence. Everything about this movie is hilarious. It's so good. I just, man. So, uh, Cindy Lou Who, um, I think she's a really great character, actually. This I called her a fucking idiot earlier, but she's, um, she's actually probably one of the smartest characters in the whole movie. Mm-hmm. Um, she perfectly cites and understands the who legal code to the mayor. Yeah, she's gonna be a lawyer. I, I put in here she should be a lawyer yeah. and she should run for mayor because she could do a better job as mayor than that fucking curly haired twat that they have. Um, she's also the hero that that city needed, not the one that it deserved. They she brought back the Christmas spirit. Her actions directly led to the to the terrorist known as the Grinch coming out of his cave and I, um, stealing all the presents. I think it's really interesting that the Grinch's story is a hero's journey. Yeah, it's all. It's I was like all watching stories. that, like what a wild like example. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's a formula that works, man. From- Terrorist on you think Christmas. he suffered cardiac problems? I was thinking that. What if like he's just having a heart attack, and we're like, "Oh, his heart's growing." And he's like, <laughs> he's like, his body doesn't know how to like, yeah, yeah. how to the it, like rejects yeah. the new size of his heart. Like we're like we're like chill with it. He has an enlarged heart now. Like yeah. he's gonna die. What the fuck would a sequel to The Grinch look like? <laughs> it's just The Grinch going to a cardiologist. <laughs> That's that you saying that made me really think. Like how how do they make a sequel out of that? So The Grinch is of course mayor. The Grinch oh, is, I would the, love that. The Grinch relapsed. Do you th- what if he had that hair that the mayor has? No, no, no. So the Grinch is mayor. <laughs> it just not <laughs> struck to you when I said the Grinch relapsed, didn't it? No, it was, I no. like it. I like it. The Grinch is mayor. And like something happens and he's he just starts hating Christmas again slowly. Oh, it's been like decades. Yeah. What if the Grinch never dies? Oh my god, what a horrible existence for the Grinch. <laughs> That's what it is. After all of his friends die, he's like, Christmas, I, I don't want to be here anymore. Alright, hear me out. What if he the can, opening sequence... He's, he can only die if he stops Christmas from coming. I, 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 I don't know. That's the really dark spin on, yeah. on it. He's, he's immortal and just wants to be released to He could only death. kill the Grinch by you shooting him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't have guns in Whoville. They, they only have Gliz Glanglers. <laughs> <laughs> that shoot fucking feathered dildos. And the Grinch will gobble them glizzles. <laughs> one, of the, one, of those, one of those fucking glizzles flying at him. He, he spread Cloake yeah. ready to accept He just it. jumps in the air and just... <laughs> like a Pez dispenser. That's why he can never be... That's why he never dies, because he can only be killed with a shot to the head. <laughs> He just perfectly evades every shot to his freaking hole. The Grinch is also a god. See? Well, we just made that up. He's not actually an eldritch god like the fucking cat in the hat. We gotta talk about the cat in the hat at some point. (laughs) Yeah, we'll have to do that eventually. Pencil her into the schedule somewhere. But. Man. What? The Grinch. God, what a good movie. Um. We forgot something on our last episode. What did we forget? We didn't rate the movie. Oh my god. <gasps> Gasp. Well, it's too fucking late now. Fuck that movie. Oh my gosh. We can't. Man, that's wild. Did we. What do we do? We just abandon ratings. No, we can't. No, that's we like, can't. It's like the. It's what, it, it's what we're here for. I mean, we can, like, give our rating real quick for it. I give well, this we can... movie 10. Green snails and ham. Okay. All right. All right. Nice. I like that. It's yeah. classic. It's no notes. Well, I yeah. haven't brought a lot of notes, but me, no notes. Yeah, no notes. Well, my notes were all positive. They're all good. I don't think I had a negative note about this movie. 
Yeah, I give this one 9.4 cans of who hashes out of 10. I uh, 9.4? Why so specific? I just, I feel like it... I he doesn't like... want to commit to a perfect 10. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm going to commit to a perfect 10. This me is too. 10 Gliz Glanglers out of 10 for me. <laughs> the fucking Gliz Glanglers. 9.4 feather dildos out of 10. <laughs> There's a really cool shot in this movie where... <laughs> Where like the the mayor's wife who wants to fuck the Grinch is like shooting lights, and a Dude, cannon. That was a fetish scene, and uh, she's like the shooting lights? them up onto the the building, and that's really cool because it's just they're just playing it backwards. Yeah. Yes, I picked up on that. I like I like that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just a good, good yeah, well that's thought my out review. scene. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Yeah. I like that scene with the lights. It had good practical effects. Yeah, it had some good. Scenes. Effect. I also read in the trivia uh, that I looked up, it, it took him two hours to get into yeah. the suit. That's disgusting. It took him one hour to get out of it. What a fucking hero he He's is. ripping it off like the Ven symbiote. <laughs> 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 he has to like ring a big bell in his Imagine dressing room. Imagine watching just like the orange seep through as he peels <laughs> the green off. Like, what? I wish they had, there has to be footage of that somewhere. Yeah. Of him like, rip, like just tearing it off. Man. Wow. The Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch. One of, one of the best movies ever made. A mean one. Cinema. Ron Howard. That's the director. Yeah. There's literally a scene where, <laughs> where the Grinch is like fake directing and he's like wearing a cap like Ron Howard and he's like mm -hmm. pretending to be Ron Howard. Where he's oh. directing Max to be the reindeer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can I also say one last thing before we fucking wrap this puppy up? What's up? It's really fucked up that the Grinch fucking made uh, the mayor toss Max a salad and then forced Max to carry all the toys up a mountain right after. <laughs> Max is just a slave to the Grinch. That's a, Max is up. a glutton for punishment. Max has no... So now you're entertaining that he likes to get fucked by the Grinch. No, I just think he's like, he's a workhorse. Yeah, he's got no body autonomy. He's got a lot of stamina. The poor little guy. He's, he's just a fuck toy for the Grinch. No, he's no. not. Well, I'm Kevin. I'm David. And I'm Brent. And this was a fucked up episode of the plotline. Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry everyone. Christmas. This is pretty Grinchy. Oh, man. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler.